Good morning, Bishop Lynch. Today is Thursday, February 7th, 2013. I'm Cameron Brooks. And I am Danielle Rogers. And you are watching BL Live. Live. Valentine's, Valentine's Day is next week, and we have a lovely way to say Happy Valentine's Day to your sweetheart, best friend, or favorite person. You can send the special people in your life a lovely, fresh Valentine carnation with your own personal message attached. Order carnations for just $1 each at all lunches through next Wednesday. The carnations in your message will be hand-delivered to your special someone during 2A on Thursday, February 14th. Say I love you with flowers from the Junior Student Council. Order at lunch through Wednesday the 13th for one dollar. Congrats to the mock trial litigation team for advancing to regional semifinals next weekend at George Allen Courthouse in downtown. <coughs> Beale defeated West Plano, Yavna Academy, and Richardson Pierce. Jacob King placed second best attorney out of approximately 110 or so with 36 teams. The team hopes to advance to state for the second year in a row. On Tuesday, in their first district matchup, the JV Lady Friars softball team jumped out to an early lead on JV2, this capturing a 16-0 victory. The game was decided quickly as Lady Friars scored early and often with 11 runs in the first three innings. The Lady Friars were led by hits from Tristan Nell and Alexis Castillo, along with a double to right center by Paige Rozak. Starting pitcher Nia Campos allowed two hits and one walk in the shutout and captured four strikeouts. Capture Lily threw out two JP2 runners attempting to steal second, while the Lady Friars stole two bases themselves. Congrats on a well-played game and a well-deserved win. The Lady Friars softball teams hit west this Friday night to take on Green Prairie High School. Good luck, ladies. On Tuesday night, the JV Lady Friars beat the TCA Lady Trojans 44 to 1. Well, excuse me, 11. The Lady Friars were led by Mackenzie Martin with 10 points and 4 steals, Gabby Bone with 9 points, and Caitlin Kemp with 6 points and 10 rebounds. Kimberly Walters pulled down 5 rebounds. Last night, the JV Lady Friars basketball team defeated the Lady Vikings of Nolan with a final score of 59 to 29. The Lady Friars' aggressive defense forced the Lady Viking to turn over the ball 25 times. The Lady Friars were led by Mackenzie Martin with 20 points and was 6 for 7 from the three-point range, and Bianca Boring and Brianna LaRosiere both added 7 points. Great job, ladies. The JV Lady Friars' last game is next Tuesday, February 12th at 6 o'clock and they will be playing at Ursuline Academy. Come out and support your Lady Friars. Congratulations. Go out to the men's JV soccer team. They defeated Bishop Dunn 2-0 to zero last night at Bishop Dunn. Goals were scored by Christian Bruce with an assist by Nick Vega, and Matias Silva scored the other. The JV is undefeated this year with a record of 12-0-1. Great job, men. The Friars varsity soccer team played hard Tuesday night against Nolan, losing in a heartbreaker at Nolan 3-2, which brings <coughs> the men to a district record of 3-1-3. Overall record is 6-3-3. All players played and did an outstanding job. Coach said that the men were very consistent and had many opportunities to score. They played tough, composed and organized, and composed and organized, and are coming together very well as the end of the season approaches. Goals were scored by Brandon Young and Sun Woo Park, and the assists were s made by Michael Nevitt and Brandon Young. The Friars' next game is at Preston Wood Christian next Tuesday, February 12th. JV plays at 5 p.m., and the varsity plays at 6.30. Come out and support your Friars soccer team.
the varsity lost a hard-fought game at TCA Tuesday night with a final score of 51-39. to The Friars were led in scoring by Lupe Alba with 14 points and Drew Bonensteiner added 12 points. The JV won their game with TCA 61-54. to The JV Friars were led in scoring by Peter Geary with 27 points, followed by Luke Cannon with 12 points. The freshmen won their game with TCA by a score of 63-61. to They were led in scoring by Cole Hines with 23 points, followed by Alex Gobert with 15 points. The freshmen play Fort Worth Nolan here at BL Thursday at 6. The varsity and JV play Fort Worth Nolan here at BL on Friday. The JV game is at 5 and the varsity closes out the evening at 8. Please come out and support your Friars Friday here at Bishop Lynch. Congratulations to the Varsity Lady Friars basketball for their 45 to 22 win over TCA Tuesday night and holding on to sole place in district. The girls were led in scoring by Brittany Norris with 12 points and Leah Wildman with five and Lindsay Masso adding eight. The Lady Friars defense was stifling as it has improved each week. The girls play Nolan here Friday at 6.30, which is Pink Night in support of Breast Cancer Awareness. There will be a donation jar at the table for this special and needy cause. The Vikings of Nolan went home defeated by the freshman Lady Friars 42-40 to last night. The freshmen improved their district's record to 7-0, and zero, playing 27 minutes and leading the scoring for the Lady Friars was Evelyn Esquadra with 10 points. Starting point guards, Jordan Tibbetts and Ryan Lockett produced nine and seven points each, respectively. The Lady Friars will play rival Ursula <coughs> next Tuesday at Ursula. Mu Alpha Theta in the math department congratulate the winners of the fifth round of the Texas Math League contest held Wednesday, February 6th. 60 BL students competed to represent BL in statewide competition with other high schools. The winners for this round are Yabo Yang, who took first place with a perfect score, and 18 other students who tied for second place, Ariel McDonald, Dalton Holcher, Sung Woo Park, Arthur Wang, Cindy Yon, Hoon Sok Cho, Morgan Cornell, Sa Sarah Morrill, Sarah Carlson, Frank Madrano, Amanda Ennis, Matt Villarier, Jeffrey Smith, Christina Lucio, Alex Zhu, Rachel Glenberg, Tori Holder, and Logan Keller. Individual scores will be posted on the door of room 125 and available from your math teachers tomorrow. The next math contest open to everyone will be after school on Tuesday next week. Attention students and staff, if you are a forever pink t-shirt, they are coming in today, so stop by the table during all lunches in order to pick up your shirt. These shirts can be worn during Fridays during February. Also, tomorrow is the Think Pink game for basketball, so be sure to wear your shirts. Thank you all for your support. Please make a note in your calendar that it is time to reserve your copy of the Bishop Lynch yearbook. You can place your order by following the link from the front page of the BL website, or you can bring cash or check for $60 to room 120C during your lunch. You do not want to miss the chance to own this piece of your BL history filled with memories you are making every single day. So go online and reserve your copy or bring your order to room 120C during lunch. We go together. The Blackfriars Guild in Greece, the musical that is, Tickets for the spring musical will go on sale during all lunches on Monday, February 11th. General admission tickets are $8 each and reserved seating is available. The show opens on Friday, February 22nd and runs for two weeks, weekends. Remember, Greece is the word. Bishop Lynch has recently begin, begun to support open arms and organizations to help refugee women come to America and employ them at living wage to support their families. These women recreate t-shirts into one-of-a-kind products to do our part in helping these women. Bishop Lynch is hosting a t-shirt drive February 4th through the 8th 
please help by bringing in your gently worn t-shirts. The boxes are <coughs> labeled by class in the cafeteria for you to drop off your t-shirts. Be sure to bring as many as you can to help support this great, this great cause. And now for the joke of the day. What does it, what does an envelope say when you lick it? Hmm, I do not know. What does an envelope say when you lick it? Nothing. It shuts up. <laughs> 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 if you have an announcement for Be Alive, please send it to <laughs> BeAlive at BishopLynch.org. Please put only the dates of the announcements in the subject line. Announcements will run for two consecutive days. Bye. Bye.